sixth grade, module four, lesson nine, problem set. Write two expressions to show a number increased by 11, then draw models to prove that both expressions represent the same thing. So a number, I'm gonna say n increased by means that we're adding 11. So we would have n plus 11, and if we wanted to, we need another expression, so we can just use the commutative property, flip those around, and have 11 plus n. So I'll do n plus 11 first. So we could have n plus 11, or if we did 11 plus n, 11 plus n. Write an expression to show the sum of x and y. So the sum is the answer to an addition problem. So we would have x plus y. Or you can flip it around and say y plus x. Write an expression to show h decreased by 13. So we have h and then we decrease it by 13. So h minus 13. There's only one answer for that. You can't do 13 minus h. Write an expression to show k less than 3 and 5 tenths. So we want k less than 3 and 5 tenths. This time we're going to start with 3 and 5 tenths. And we want k less than that. So let's subtract k. Number five, write an expression to show the sum of g and h reduced by 11. So we have g plus h, and then we reduce it, subtract 11. We don't need any parentheses there because we would do g plus h first anyway. Write an expression to show 5 less than y plus g. So we'd have 5 less than y, meaning we actually start with y, and we want 5 less than that, plus g. So y minus 5 plus g. And then 7, write an expression to show 5 less than the sum of y and g. So now we want the sum of y and g first but we want five less than that, so subtract five. Y plus G minus five, or I guess you could flip around and have G plus Y minus five.